We are going to play a Demon Hunter for the Riddles of Light. This is the Collector's Edition. We, of course, I feel like that's really loud, but it could be my imagination. We are going to do this. This is a uh, Brave Giant. This is four, and they actually put the numbers in their games, which I think is nice and rare. And uh, I think we should go ahead and hit that play button. So you've got the bonus chapter here, and you've got the main story there. So let's just dive right in. Casual, advanced, expert, and custom. Let's go. I feel like we just did this, but here we are. We have landed in some sort of, oh, it looks like it's Egypt. You got pyramids going on over there. We're gonna go ahead and do special features only. This is a uh, game based on the Artifix Mundi engine, but it is made by Brave Giant. And I really like the Brave Giant games. Those are really good. So across the locations, you will be able to find two size, oh, two types of collectibles. Stars and diamonds. All right, folks, so you know what you need to do. Make sure you do shout those out and we will collect them all. One, on top of the inventory, there is a scarab amulet that will go if there are collectibles to be found. Oh, I see right here. Hello, who is this lovely lady here? Working hours are almost over, Lila. I need you to find the cartouche artifact. It is crucial for finding the other parts of the gauntlet. Please hurry so we can finish the reports for this site. If the cartouche isn't here, I'm afraid we'll need to search somewhere else. All of our research leads to this place, Auntie. We just need to dig deeper. Give me just a few more minutes. Cartouche? What the heck is a cartouche? I have to say, this looks gorgeous, don't you think? Boy, oh boy. I like how the tent fabric is moving around. It's animated. I don't think I've played any of the Demon Hunter games, so I'm really uh, curious to see how this turns out. Of course, we're playing the first hour of the game, and then we'll judge thumbs up, thumbs down. It is said that Horus defeated Seth thanks to this gauntlet. Hmm, where is the nozzle? Nozzle, nozzle. You had a cartouche necklace with your name on it. Wow. I forgot to put the scream and mesh into place. Well, there's our screen. So, I guess we're gonna like water or something or rather. I love using this to clear out the sand from the valuables found beneath the ground. The text is a little quick. Ah, so that is what a cartouche artifact looks like. So that would be that there, isn't it? I should go into the tent, or shall I stay outside? Ooh, look at this little friend over here. The nearest city is really far away. If something happens, we are on our own. Whoa, what the heck is that? Hey, little buddy, why are you even here? Could this be the clue we're searching for? Where's my trowel when I need it? Our cartouche is like a sarcophagus. Oh. Neato. So we're almost ready. Let me see here. Let me go. Where's our little squirrel buddy? Oh, he's gone. Egyptian squirrels are the best squirrels? Maybe. Oh, we just made some glitter. Uh, wow, it looks super nice and warm here. Let's do this. Nice. Oh, hello, beautiful lady. She, doesn't she look super comfortable in that outfit? <laughs> I'm not sure. 
Like, I, I love how there's just the, the sand is on the ground and you just throw like a uh, carpet on the ground. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I need you to find the cartouche artifact. I need you to tell me what a cartouche artifact even is. She's got quite the little setup in here. Very nice. Very lovely. So we're not ready for cartouching up the place, are we? Let's see. Maybe we can uh, wash away our uh, stuff here with our bucket. Spray that all down like it's nobody's business. So, parts of a relief. Interesting. Let's get into the glitter. Search through the scene to find items in the inventory. Some items require additional actions to find. At the end, you'll get one useful outfit. You think Auntie is possessed? Really? Yeah, it's like a sieve with a bit of water to help out. Mm-hmm. Hemma! Oh, look at that little lizardy dude here. Hammer time. Nice little shovel. I'm not sure if we have to dig that up. Let's try. Oh, look at our little buddy here. <laughs> I don't know if he's a hedgehog or what is he? Oh no, I need a more precise tool, like a hammer. Uh oh, darn. Do I like fast food? Uh, depending on what you mean by that. I mean, there's like 50 different fast foods. Oh, it's a groundhog. Oh, okay. You're not thirsty, I'm thirsty. So let's see here, how do I get into this? An almond, oh, I think I know who would love an almond. Here you go, buddy. Happy Groundhog Day. Who doesn't love almonds? Seriously. Almonds are your best friend. No, oh, it solved it by itself, Woohoo! You know what I like for McDonald's? Not much. Uh, there's one thing that they have like the spicy chicken with guac. I like that for McDonald's, so that's about it. Almonds are very nice, I agree. So I have... Oh, I see, we're gonna have to fix this bent trowel over here. Hamma time. You like the nuggets from uh, McDonald's? Shamrock smoothie. Hey, that's coming up soon, isn't it? Usually that's for March. Trowel blade. The french fries are pretty good. I, I admit that too. I find the McDonald's french fries are good uh, comfort food. Not. So I don't know if this trowel will work. We don't have White Castle in Canada, so... I've never had a white castle. Where was the key for? Oh, for this up here. Got it. Got it, need it, got it. I got me some of these and I got me some of this. You'll gladly drown in nuggets? Whoa, we got tools. Oh, oh we gotta glue it for super glue. Yeah, the Shamrock Shake is usually for, like, uh, March, right? For St. Patrick's Day. I don't think I've been to a Burger King in ages. Uh, I don't think the Burger Kings do too well in Canada. Wendy's does really well. Tim Hortons obviously does very well. We have got ourselves something of interest. It's a tablet. Let's put it where it belongs, I guess. We have to rotate it. We got this. We totally got this. You miss KFC? All that delicious grease? Mm -mm -mm. Thank you. 
KFC is definitely a guilty pleasure. Swish LA is something I'd prefer over KFC. But I know KFC is, uh, has its strengths. Whoa, what was that earthquake? Cartouche. Since the beginning of time, opposites have been waging war to win the world for themselves. Since the beginning of time, opposites have been waging war to win, waging war to win the world for themselves. Hmm. Time. They have taken forms of day and night, truth and lie, and in this specific case of Horus and Seth, ancient Egyptian gods. Horus was the one shielding all humankind. Alas, sometimes darkness prevails, and good has no strength to fight back. Good has no strength? Those are the times when balance, as well as justice, is crushed. With the last grain of strength, Horus called for help and the other gods heard his cry. They all joined their powers to equip Horus with a weapon stronger than a thousand suns, which soon became known as the Gauntlet of Horus. It certainly feels like Egyptian mythology. Hmm. Onk. Onk it up. One more. We need wings. Conquers evil. Horus used his gauntlet to put Seth in the eternal slumber. Eternal slumber? Oh, he's sleepy. Aww. He banished him from this world, securing his prison with magic bars. You're going to jail. God jail. That was that. Game over. Cartouche! Where have you been? My gosh, it's majestic. I have never seen anything like it before. Uh-oh. What have we done? Was that real? Real as it ever will be. Cartouche artifact. Let's go give it to the lovely lady in the tent. What is her name anyways? I need you to find the cartouche artifact. Here, I got your cartouche. You found it! Finally! This artifact is the dark counterpart to the Charm of Light, which is the gauntlet we have here with us. Legend says it was made and used by the God of Light, Horus, to stop darkness and suffering once before. If it's true, then we should have some kind of a reaction between them. I can't open it. Let me try something else. Lila, prepare the gauntlet and I'll take care of the cartouche. But I oh, found it! Oh, I almost it. forgot. Here, you'll need this. No. You know, this is a minor kind of weird observation, but the fact that she's got like freckles here, I find it interesting. I don't know why. 
It's just not often you see video game characters with like freckles. Certainly not in a hidden object game.